Hi guys, it's Maaike. I am back with number 17 in my clearly besotted month. It's uh, present a plushie together with brush sentiments for the sentiment. And this is my second ink blending of my rainbow background. Because look, a mode lawn was a bit more juicy than I uh, thought it would be. And uh, I'm just putting the stencil and I'm just looking at it because I think it's not in the center. I cut it from a piece of plastic, stencil plastic. And the other one was lower and now this one is floating. I would have liked it a little bit more in a corner but I didn't pay attention. So as I said, brushed sentiments and present, present, a plushie, present, I don't know. Uh, all clearly besotted and uh, as always I have bought these myself. I am not sponsored or asked to do these videos. I just do them because I have too many. <laughs> no, I, I have just enough. Uh, so far. <laughs> and I'm just in blending candied apple, a carved pumpkin, mustard seed, a mermaid lagoon and over the yellow to make the green. But I was maybe a bit faded so I went over it with the twisted citron and then wilted violet and picked raspberry. Just like the usual suspects in my rainbows. It's really pretty. It's like a bubble. I liked it. I thought about doing it on a diamond shape, but I want to try to see how to ink blend that. Because if I put a smaller diamond in a corner, then you have a really big pointy bit. And I'm not sure if that would go well in my rainbow. So I will try that on the piece that I messed up has a back of course so I can <laughs> use the other side. That's the beauty about paper. I'm using Versafine ink, I'm sorry I'm off screen, I didn't pay attention. But um yeah just Versafine ink to happy birthday. And to pick my plushie I picked a dog with a stripy box. There's a cat in there. <laughs> I didn't use it. Aren't you proud? I don't know what kind of dog it is. If you know what it should look like, let me know down below. I went for the dog that my mom had, I say Shih Tzu, Shih Tzu, I'm not sure how you say that even, but um, one of those small grandma doggies I call them. And there's also, I think, a raccoon in inside the box, and a bear, and a fox in a cake that I want to use on a different card and then there's also one in a basket that I think that might be a bit more easterly themed I'm not sure but <laughs> I'll turn on the music I didn't do many great things with my coloring and the stripes are too small for me to even attempt to do shading I did it on the dog and as I say I colored it like my mom's dog looked like but I'm not sure if that's the correct dog so let me know, let me know, and, and we'll enjoy the music for a few minutes and I'll catch you later.
I don't think you need any shading. But for mounting it on the card base, I'm just using a little bit of foam tape. And I'm putting it in the center of my uh, bubble. <laughs> and now I'm putting some clear or colorless gemstones around it, just for some shimmer. So I was tempted to put some glitter pen or shimmer pen on the box itself. I thought the the bubbles are very bright and fun and then the colors yeah, they're a bit faded I think, a bit dull. But yeah, three different sizes uh, in a triangular position. Might need a few more or bigger ones. I'm not sure, I might add some more afterwards. But anyway, that's the card finish. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this really quick one and hope to see you again soon. So until then, bye.